The only thing that I worry about is that there's only four of you. And I'm gonna have to add another girl. Wait, from where? where? From where? 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 Please, you guys, let me just do my job. My job is to make these girls win. And I'm telling you, we will win with five, not four. You know, it's not my fault Kendall's not here. How are we gonna decide it's all of us? How will I decide? I will decide. Will the new person have a solo or they're just out of the picture? Moms, thank you very much for your beautiful presence, but I need you to leave. OK. With the reservation. I have lots of other questions. Thank you. You guys know Reagan, right? My daughter's name is Reagan. She has six national titles. She even beat Kalani in the past. My daughter's here because she is a force to be reckoned with. What are you expecting this week? Do you expect a solo? I mean, of course, I would want my daughter to have the opportunity to have a solo. She doesn't need a solo. We came here with some severe ramifications from leaving our studio. At this point, we've been removed from all of our competition teams permanently. Wow. I definitely want a national platform for my child to be recognized. I want her career to grow. I, of course, would want her to get out there on stage and have a chance to have a solo, to seize this, like, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but I really didn't mean disrespect, and well, I apologize. Well, you don't need to disrespect, because your daughter walked in here 32 milliseconds later, and she's front and center. So all your dreams are coming true. Is that a feeling that might happen? Cameron, if you can step up. You're also doing a solo, contemporary. It's called Breaking Free. The next solo I'm giving... Reagan. It's a lyrical piece, and it's called The Ingenue. But you're bringing Reagan in as a guest this week, and you're going to give her a solo over Chloe and Nia? Her technique is better. Seriously. Seriously. It is. Did you not just see Reagan dance? I'm always in the back. Like, I know it. I know that. Like, I've told time after time my technique is, like, the worst in the group. Don't, like, I know that. But it's just hard because, like, I've been here for legit seven years. Like, I've never missed a competition. I felt like I've put in so much. And honestly, but I feel But you like... got the duet last week. Kalani didn't. Well, yeah, but that didn't win, so we're trying new things. We want to win. We were so that we're dancing back up, and we were the ones that put in our blood, sweat, and tears for this. But you guys, my daughter just left her home studio that she's danced that at since so she's been five. That, that was you your made choice. That choice. That's how much we care about dancing with you guys. She wants you guys to post a picture on social media so she can have more followers. You guys lie and twist everything to what you want to say. Stop. Seriously, not in front of your daughters. It's ridiculous. This is so childish. I need you guys to please leave my room so I can work with your girls. It's just annoying to me. They lived a lifetime of that, of being background dancers to everyone else. I just feel like you guys are trying to punish my kid. She stepped in on this team. It's not about your child specifically. You sat here and cried boo-hoo that you left your team and you did this and you made these I'm sacrifices. I'm not crying anything. My kid just got attacked in there by older girls who said she didn't deserve what she got and they're tired of being backup dancers. I'm out. I'm out. Hell no. You don't talk about our kids. Our kids don't attack anybody. Our kids have never attacked a kid. My kid who's 11 sat there and took it. No. She didn't break down and cry and she's ready to still dance. They weren't attacking anyone. So have some compassion and stop being a Here you I do want to work on it, like, when you're, like, touching your heart. Like, I want you to grab your dress and, like, go for it. Like, it has to be so, like, raw. Um, and I don't want you to lose that. Like, you just have so much feeling. You just really go for it, OK? All right, good job. Thank you. All right, next. Reagan, you're going to be doing lyrical, and it's the ingenue. So you're playing that character. You're playing the new girl coming in. All right, let's start right away, please. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, oh, one. Let me see if that works um, with counts. I'm a little bit nervous for Reagan. She has to learn choreography quickly. 
and it's not something that Reagan is used to. So we have a huge weight on Reagan's shoulders right now for her to follow through and prove to this team that she does have the technique that Cheryl thought she saw in her. Cameron, I just hope today you can really step it up. We need to throw all that negativity out. And with you, Reagan, this is your chance to prove to me why you should be a part of this team. Because I still have the decision to make if I even want you here next week, OK? So there is a lot of pressure. Really listen to the music and don't let your adrenaline take over. And have a great time, OK? Come on, let's walk. Are you nervous? This is your first solo, like, a part of this team. I mean, I might be a little bit nervous because it's my first time, like, having to learn a solo this fast. Just go on stage and get your best. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage is number 18, the Ingenue. Ingenue. <laughs> the Ingenue. Oh, okay, it took me a while. pressure on Cameron this whole week to pretty much be perfect, to be like this little 11-year-old. Up next to the stage is number 17, Breaking Free. So Cameron has to nail this solo, because not only do I want to shut Julia up, but I want Cameron to have the confidence to know that she is good enough and she can be a star. for both solos. They were really, really strong. I would say performance, I would go to Cameron. But for technique, it'd be hands down Reagan. Oh my. She was off balance twice. But what I loved about Cameron was that she didn't sacrifice her performance. Good job. Woo! That was really good. 
Why does she look sad? What's the matter? What happened? What's going on? Nothing. What's wrong, Cameron? You killed it. Like, this is I what... I just wish when I got off stage, like, I liked how I performed. Like, there's not been one time that I But do I you not believe me that you were great? I tell you when you're not. Cameron and Camille, can you guys just come up here, please? You're the one that gives me chills. It makes me cry. It's like you're abusing yourself. Don't do that. You're, don't bring yourself down. I don't know, I guess I've, you put high expectations on me, or I, like, didn't meet them this week, and, like, I don't... But you know why I put high expectations on you? Because I know you can do it. I'm pushing you, Cameron, because I can see you be a professional dancer. These girls mean so much to me. I mean, I want to see Cameron dance for many years after this, but she needs to find confidence from within. Because if you don't have that, you're going to crack and have a very short-term career. The fourth overall solo of the day goes to number 18, the Ingenue. Reagan has amazing technique. And I know that the judges are looking for that. But what she is missing is emotion. My girls, they have to be able to win. So I don't think I will need Reagan for next week. With the second overall score, solo of the day, this is number 30, In Love. And her top score in solo of the day, first overall goes to, drum roll please. Congratulations, guys.